Hello everyone, me phone 4 here, as for tonight's game is about to be happening now. The next matchup is the Winnipeg Jets and the Minnesota Wilds here back at XL Energy Center. This night is going to be happening right at this game and we are about to be sharing you what we have heard. They've got a 1-0 lead over the Wilds of the Winnipeg League. The next game might be a 2-0, or it will be a 1-1 to tie this series up. We're not sure what will be, but if there is another changeup, we might have an update. So it's time now to send you down to XL Energy Center. Will the Jets take a extension lead of 2, or will the Wilds tie the game the series up right around the deck before heading to Winnipeg, a, excuse me, in Canada, but uh, we're not even sure what's going to be, so we'll have to see what's going on with the next one. And right now, the next commentary up, I will have is OJ along with Lightbrain. And the center ice will be me, because I will be on here in just a few moments. And I will get this thing right on the coverage on the board. Guys, all yours. See you later, and I'll be back at the post-game show. Hello everyone, OJ here at XL Energy Center. We've got the rematch of Wild and Jets. Ready to do it for anything. Opening face-off of Game 2, underway in Minnesota. Hawk is trapped and we are underway. Courtesy lineup is being here as follows. We have his Damalo. Right back right now, we have his Perfetti. Then it's Matt Sucurella and Spurgeon. Then we have his Kaprasov. Back the other way, we have his Tobias. Tobias in the corner. Giving a pass over to Perfetti. Then across here, we have his Connor. And a starting goaltender here, we have his Marc Andre Fleury. Now, Marc Andre Fleury was able to go with that one. Better running and successful than he was out there, just like he was ever doing it before. The better play of this one turned out to be a hard one to go with for my. And Morrissey is the is the starting player here on Porto Jets. Timalo back outside. Take the stick and penalty called on Minnesota with a shocking run of the start. And not really easy enough. That's gonna be a red, red flag. Not a good one. Stopping the play! And that will stop the play with 18 minutes. This calls a slashing, and that will be called on Zuko Rollo. Zuccarello is in the penalty box, and we have a one nothing lead. Try to, I'm sorry, no goals in this game. Winnipeg on the start for the power play on Minnesota for the first period in game two. Lowry miss, loses a faceoff. Dumbo, recovering it up here over around. Halabayuk is the starting goaltender for the Winnipeg Jets. And now for Perfetti. With a stick lift. Trying to take the move. Middleton takes the puck, play, take it away. There is the puck out. Schmidt with it now. Over to Lowry. Trying to clear the deck. Play resumes as Dumbo has to recover now to try to recover it. we passed two minutes here, and now here's Perfetti. Lost the puck. Milton with the puck here on the other end. We'll have to keep it out of the range here just a moment later before he even his strength up. It's clearly that they were out there just one way at a time. But they were really out there like nowhere. They had to find somebody else. But that may not be enough to give that one a good run. Out there by anybody. Park with the shot. Stop saved here by Mark andre Fleury. He's almost ready to go. Laura, we back with it now. Around the man. Bang down. Power plays over for Winnipeg Jets, and now they're back to even strength. Good eye on the keep here for, for Dumba, because he was able to try to keep him from a low angle. This issue was nothing but they were ever going to clear it out. The moment it gets, the moment it hard it trusts. Here's Lowry, trying to pick up on Middleton. Rolls back over to Steele. Steele with it now. Back to Middleton. 
and away. And back there away, we have his Perfetti. Winnipeg on the attacking run. Try to go back with the run. Perfetti with the puck. Shot! Stopped by Mark Andre Fleury. Steal or right around it. Recovering the puck back over to Lowry. Moves it quickly over to Pionk. Pionk recovering the puck in offense and offensive territory. Moving back, puck board and back. Losing the puck here as Smith will have to regroup here. Hey, easy that one is. If you're looking at the right player, you gotta find someone else. Here's Wheeler. In the corner now. Backhander. Blocked up by Zuccarello. Minnesota back in the other hand to take the offensive run. Perfetti trying to stop the puck. Reeves with it now. Carries the dog in. Whoa, right around the right around passing the net. And that's a flick it off wide. One-on-one -on -one attack for Wheeler. Wheeler in the move! Rebound with Sterling! And Flurry with a stop. Malgandre Fleury will call the puck here with only 12.22 remaining in the first score. Still nothing's in the game. Now they're on for the faceoff. Try to look for a big here and error. Have no goals in yet. Dumba, Friday along with the rebound. Manali, short! Stopped here by Andy Fleury. Gagner, Gagner, and stopped up again by Brody. Gagner over again to Morrissey. And DeMello. Takes a wrister. Rebound up front. That goes back out of here by Mark Andre Fleury. Easy in this one. Lemon squeezy. They couldn't just see where he was going. No puck to be found. Bang down. Morrissey will have to regroup here. The takeaway. Stopped by Halibut. Now has his first save here in the game. Now he's still the Bios. The Bios trying to find someone else. Broden taking over. DeWar. Recovered up by DeBios. Dumba right in the middle, right to Hartman. Passing the mid period in the first. Bullshit back out of here. Try to give it up to Tobias. Now goes back into the offense zone to Connor. Connor in the move! Now went around it, but it was tipped out too strong. DeMello with the high block. Brody with a stop. Now here's Dumbo. Over to Erickson Eck. Trying to pick up the deck. DeMello over to Wheeler. Wheeler moving into the offense zone to pick up another run. Two Sullivan, burn it back. Oh, Flurry with a dive catch to try to help him make him pay. The pay off this price can be really that, that dangerous out there. Middle to the Hartman. Hartman up! And a Hellabayuk save. Erickson at. Stop the puck for Hellabayuk. We'll have to give a whistle here with only 807 to remain in the first period. Both teams are set, ready to take the face-off puck drop. Score still at zeros in the game as no there's no shot on goal made. Baldy! Good look, but he went too hard on a carry. Hello is still reaching reaching out his save. That puck sends out of reach. Burren back over again to Lowry. Kick the puck back over again to Smith. Try to pick up a run. Coleman and Barron recovers it. Puck went too wide. Spurger on. Oh man, that was going to be a heavy hitter to try to make him pay for. It paid for really needs. They just really couldn't help it to try to save it. With the call in between of Kaprasov. He's got wheels right on the lane. Could try to make a fast break and go with the odd man rush. 
How does Bayek has gotten an X-ray vision to keep overworking his skill in dimension? Just like Linus Omar, he was able to go right from in between for the trick. Might have a couple saves if he could try to stick him up here to go back on his own. I'll keep an eye on those two for Elbayuk and for Kepazov. Back to you guys. Schmidt outside. Pass to Wheeler. Back to Seppel. Back over to Schmidt. Moving puck back and forth. With a shot. Good stop by Flurry. Morrell to Zuccarello. On a fast break. Pad save by Halabayu. 5.30 left to remain in the first period of the game. To Shepa. With the back end. Stop in front of him with the glove. Dylan lost pass with the deep. Goes offside and Schmidt will have to recover the group. Back recovery. Need to get that one a hit. Schmidt. With the run back. It's stopped again by uh, number one for Marc-Andre Fleury. Move back to Dylan. Dylan to Shepa. Back to Dylan. And Zuccarello takes it over. One on one attack. Shot glove saved by Halabayu. Ooh, made that one a good play. Zuccarello was getting there two clucks. Should have had that one here if he was going to stop one. Dylan gives it back over to Shepa. Over again to Madeline. Madeline up again. Shot stopped by Flurry. With Gagner and scores! Gagner gets his first goal in the playoffs and they have their self a 1 0 lead. Clean play with Halabayu to Gagner over around the back. Trying to go with an easy pickoff look to pick up with the shot. That's tricky on the upper angle because you know they're really that tough to get that one right back into it. And right now with the win for, uh, for Winnipeg, they have a one nothing lead over Wild. Hartman lost the puck. Hello, you really seemingly like he was able to do his own time at home when he wants to give that one a good one, to give him a good credit to give that one a good shots on goal and make a save here by helping out his friend. Yeah, exactly true. You know that, that Hello, Bayou was able to go with the fair plays on the pickoff moment? We're really having a hard, hard time with that one. With the run, it may not be that simple. That could be very difficult if you maintain it if you can keep your possession up here alive. And for Marc Andre Fleury, after playing with the with the last game with the you know the Blackhawks, he was not able to find himself clearly to give that one a good run over it again. Well, seemingly like he was out there out of focus out there. But now they're seemingly they want to get rid of a Kakone and give it over to another player. DeMaio scores! 2-0 is where we stand. That gives him extension up and over right to the net. DeMaio's waits out there after passing. Then it was happened in there at this moment. A little face-off aggression out there could be a little bit tricky to give that one a call. Look at the bias. Really good pass off to give a good look in the feed. With this motion, he is able to keep up with Manalian with the puck on the release bit. He was able to pick up his doing his right and his own and give the player out of a credit run to give him up with his own. And for Tobias, giving that one a good lucky runs to hit the deck in the game. Back to you guys. Pia! Shot is stopped by Flurry. Polegna with the puck, under a minute remaining in the first period of the game. Back to Dumba. Back to Brody. Up over to Gardera. Gudera. Connor rolling back over again. Faceoff is coming up after an ice call on Winnipeg. Players are set, ready to take the faceoff in the net. Winnipeg's got 2 nothing lead over the Wilds in the first period with the shocking start. Burpetti to Pound. Boldy recovered it. Gooder up! Pounce! Oh, nice look! But Hellebuck with a save would pull up a pad in a better game. Shot blocked! And will not get a goal here. That will end the first period 
a 2-0 lead for the Jets. We'll get the second period coming up after the break. Second period about to begin after a 2-0 lead for Winnipeg. Now the puck is struck and we are about to get things underway. If you all have watched the animated Saturday Invitational, I hope you enjoyed watching it because it's already finally out. You can watch right down here in the, on the calling card info, right up at the top of the corner of the wall, after the video is over. Dumoulin, back over to Morrissey, over to Dumolo. Trying to pull it back, offside is whistled, and now the to faceoff is coming up for the Winnipeg and Minnesota faceoff. Kyle Connor, he has his motion to take with his fast wheels right toward the game. He can finally get his own team a better look at the angle and try to pick up a run to go back to the play. I'll be keeping an eye on here on Kyle Connor if there is another changeup and keeping an eye on the player to go back in towards the offense center of the game. Back to you guys. Perfetti in the corner. Looking for a man opener. Blocked up in front. Tobias. Not a good deflection in there, but you have to keep it steady in order to try to pass it. Steele. Outside, back to Utu Guerrero. Peppers off. Right back to Steele. Steele is a Guerrero. Dumolo with a cut to cover. Connor missed the puck. Minnesota back in the offense zone. Move back to Perfetti. Perfetti on the race. Bang it down for the wall breakdown. That's really a tough one. Pressure's out. Don't leave it hanging there. Payo with the puck. Trying to release one with the deflection, but it was blocked out too wide. Shaq Bella Wheeler. Wheeler! I can't stop me. Covers off, back to steal. Giving the better run to Zuccarello. Back down the man he goes. To Ellers. Ellers recovers the puck. With a cross break chain. Pass stopped by Flurry. Wheeler! Holy trying to go back with a now as Dumbbell has a puck recovered. Kudros got the puck in the offense on the Falendo. Brian Diving pay! Well, it looks like paying a price out there for Hallebayuk. Really was going to show him what he was ever going to stop for. Kind of saying, I got you that for it now. Right around, back in. No penalty called for Minnesota. Coleman, recovered in Malari, but Flurry hasn't stopped. Now the puck is in, ready for the face off with 15-21 remaining in the second period. Both play teams are set ready to take the face off in. Score is still two lows in the game for Winnipeg. Now with the wing, Dumba. Gudero back over to Falindo. Puck recovered out. Trying to puck one in. Now it's Boldy. Boldy in the corner now to Gudero. Stop by Hellebayu. Two time stop. With the win, here's Broden. Dumbo slap shot. Oh, we'll stop here. Great stop by Dalabayu. Out to that, reaching the pad out there with the foot. And a good stop made. Greenway, back over to Hartman, back outside, reaching zones in between. Broden outside. Make the play. Stopped again by Eric by Dalabayu. He's really keeping Bill Focus out there. He's really into that heavy, heavy luck out there. Seemingly, he really can do it all, and he does. Stenlund with the puck. Back in there! Rebound stop by Flurry! 13 27 to stop the play. What a biggest moment of the game. Now, with another call out there, it is seemingly like how Bayou was able to pick up his game. Their team has made it to the wild card spot. 
and definitely have to tell you that one, Halibayu, unbelievable player of the goaltender. He's true. Most honest opinions about the Halibayu can really feel like that he's got a good vision to keep in protection. Everything is possible. Not everybody, but they've got a good one to go for. Rebound! Perfetti, no time left to bake the goal in as it went right toward his side and deflected out of play. And as for the other side here for Mark andre Flory, how does it really keep you in track of it, bro? Well, seriously, though, they're really onto a heavy trap. I'm sure that Mark andre Flory might have it around here. Score! It's Cole Connor! Fast wheels and snappy extender lead 3 0. That's fast. The wheels on a good power and wheel you dare. You name it, the wheel of Connor. Putting it back in with the best look of ability drive. Kyle Connor, are you kidding me? He was already been lifting it. It looks like his team it could be going for an upset and try to stop on the Minnesota Wilds. They're a very tough team. It looks like the Canadian teams wants to get back into the second round and go back with another face-off attack screen. I'll keep an eye here on, on Zach uh, on Kyle Connor. We'll have another shot here to the train. We'll give that one another run to keep it eyes forward. Back to you guys. Alibayu gives over to Dubala. Dubayu is with the puck. Winnipeg back into the offense zone to pick up this run of the board. Gay Paya. Perfetti. Pass broken up as the war recovers. Nearing the midway period, a 3 0 extension for the Winnipeg Jets. Here's Punk. Try to pass it over to Punk. Right to Wheeler. Wheeler still on showing up. To Sophie. Way back end will not be enough. Flurry will hold the save here with just 10 20 to go. Both teams are set ready to take the face off Punk in the lane. 10-20 left to remain in the first second. It's a 3-0 lead for the Winnipeg Jets. Spurs it on over to Middleton. Off to Boldy. Boldy trying to look forward free. Gudera with the puck. Trying to give the puck out to him. Spurs you on. Love saved by Alabayu. Pass broken up. Boldy with a full end though with the shot. Stop here! Oh wow, that hell of a bite stop. Sapphire, gonna do it again! Stop by Flurry! Right toward the goalpost with 9.15 to go! Oh yeah, I was able to see that. That was really close on that one. Real lifesaver, like they always mean it. With Spurgeon on with the puck. 909 to go. It's now a it's now coming into the, the wire for the end of the second period. Another one for Bowley shot. Stop again by Hellaway. They're off to a good start. They're really well out there. Middleton over to Philly though. 830 left to go in the second period. Trying to go around the man. Lowry stopped Bay by Hellaway. Now back to Burwin. Baron, playing the puck to Coleman. They won't pick up that play uh, once more, and a muck thing they have down. They couldn't get it running again. They have to do it again. More than time and often can really say that with a lifesaver. Elevated will hold the puck. Coleman back the other way. Squeeze it, Brennan Koff ends a corner. Oh my. Coleman! Stopped by Flurry. Zuccarello with the puck back to the offense zone to pick up another run. Ted Zendlin takes it back over to Gagner. Win the puck right towards the Man to Manalalan. Back over to the Bolo. Shot! Deflected! That goes up into the netting and goes out of play. Back to another face-off coming up. We have another one to keep the range in tight. 3-0 is still where we left off. Number 13 for the, for the Wilds. 
So you go around all over the road and over again the Dumbo to steal. The Wilds regain their group here in offense to pick up another run. Ellers with the puck. Blanks deep. Scheifeld right toward the corner to battle for the loose puck. Demelo recovers it. Morshai deflected off the fan and player with the heavy traffic. Morrissey at now Demelo. Rebound up! Stop again by Mark Andre Flory. Ellers move shoot. Trying to take it back with Dumba trying to give it away. That really is going to be a hard one to try to keep the deck out. Motion is hopeless. Not really seemingly like they are going for it, but that might be a very tough thing they call it. Wheeler! Oh wow, the same spot where he had. That's really a tough call because you can't just let the man get around him and try to pull it back from you. You've got to have an eye on score. That's what your goal is. Keep it right with you. Now with the win, here's Punk. Waits for the man. Opens to Perfetti. Dylan. Back to Pion. Over again to Connor. Taking a shot. Fling it wide. It goes back to Dylan. Pion to Dylan. A lot of pass moment here for the Winnipeg Jets. Perfetti. Give it to Connor. Make a shot. Stop the. What a way to make a save here for Mark Andre Fleury. Addison to Erickson Eck. Pull it back, whatever! Well too wide! Harmon trying to stop one, and Halabayu is going to hold the puck with 317 to go. There is a close call. He almost could have got that goal, but it was not in there. Yeah, it's really that tough. Be honest, Steve. More than an opinion out there. Three time stop for Salabayu. With the win, here's Addison. Merrill, blocked by Coleman. Coleman trying to reach for here in the offense zone. Back over again to Lowry. Back to Dylan over to Pionk. Pionk shot. Trying to pull it back here. Lowry with the stop. We're under 2.40 to go in the second period. The score is still 3-0. They still need somebody else out there. Well, well, well. A good glove save here by Mark andre Fleury. Now here is another one for Volando. Sterling up with it now. To Gagner. Gagner swings over across to Madeline. Schmidt to Sandberg. Back to Helmine. Madeline, I should say. Here's another look. With a shot. Stopped again with the defender and Halabayuk save. He's got 19 saves in a row. Putting up a good one to beat the new record. Offsides whistled, and we got the power play. Nope, the faceoff coming up. Now the players are set, ready to take the offense zone in a neutral. Now with the win, here's Sandberg over to Maryland. And Reeves with a steal. Last minute to play in the second period. They gotta get that phone open. Rebound up! Oh wow, that was heavy, and it was going back to a traffic way to go right around it. They sure do. They're not really going to try to like keep a focus out there for long. They have to do something else about it. Right. Yikes. Tobias. Shot. Deflected off right toward the board. Tobias. Trying to hold it again. Give him an alley to Smith. Shot. And went to wide. And the puck carries out and that will be it for the second period. One goal made. As for Kyle Connor, a fast break and backhand score. 3-0 is where we left off in the second period. Third period is coming up after the break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right with you after this. Third period. About to begin here in the XL Energy. OJ, along with Life Ring and Me Phone, it has been a tremendous night and a shocking run here as Winnipeg Jets have gained the lead to extend their run a 3 0 game. As for Kyle O'Connor, I made that one history to get back toward this game. How does it really feel 
But they're up to a ready to take it over in game three, though, by the way. Well, I must say, they are very that close. But the tank this thing is, is not going to be enough here to get that one a goal. A high goal, or just go with the passing, or go with deflection right in there. All I just said was, it was going for to be a firmer goal to take the perfection out. Not a good way to give over this, but the real life saving happens when you need it. Perfetti! Oh, hits up a puck right over to Connor. Back to DeMello. To Connor! Race back to it again to Morrissey. With a shot! Trying to make it out! And Flurry will hold us with the save with 18.25 to go. Players are set, ready to take the face off in the offense zone. Score still set, 3 0 for the Winnipeg Extension League. Now with the win, here's over DeMello. DeMello moving around the man. Off in the bound. Eller shot. Met missed target. Zuccarello to cover saw. Moving around the man. Take it a backhand. Locked it up by DeMello. Over to Ellers. Ellers running fast break. With a move. Shot tipped wide. Scuffle back over to Dylan. Dylan bang out. Dylan trying to go back over again to Wheeler. Wheeler unable to reach out. Middleton trying to fight for the rebound to pick it back. Double goers on him. Kubasov moving out the puck too soon as Bianca has it. Now Shuffler has it back here in offense zone to pick up another one. Back to Pham. Trying to pick up a run. Here's Dylan on Zuccarello. Hope checked away. Good stop by Dylan. Dylan's getting very good at this. Oh, fast break. Oh, wow. That Mark andre Fleury was going to stop him. But that was killing off time momentum to give a good look. Good on Larry with the battle of the puck. Foligno right to Gordero. Coleman over again to Larry. Dylan try to hold it from the study tank. Haroon! Two on one, fast break! Backhand stop by Flurry. 15 16 to go in the third period. Still got a lot of time for a while to so pick up a goal if they get one in there without being shut out in the, in the first and in the second game. Now the win goes back the airwaves for Gion. Take a look at over to Foligno. Foligno up again. Toss back to Sporgion. Try to move around it. Good stop here with the block. Try to give it over to Lowry. Lowry in the move. Shot and stopped. And Sporgion picks it back up. Foligno right down in the other way. Boldy in the corner. Pulling to the bully. Try to go back with the other way. The Jets regain their group in the offense zone on the attack. Got there, regaining the group. Stenlund, losting the puck and goes back the other way. Try to hold it for the board. Hartman with the puck. Try to reach from here, Boldy. Reach out of here again to Smith. Back to Stenlund. Jets regain the group on offense on the uh, territory. Morrissey goes back to Stenland. With a shot and stopped by Hartman with the block. Hartman was able to go right from here in between. He's really trying to keep that one a good study hard. And this game can be about that challenging if he can try to keep the run out. Oh, out of here. With the shot stopped again by Marc Andre Fleury, back over again to Morrissey. Perfetti with the puck back again, moving puck back and forth. Hartman recovering the puck on offense zone to go back into the Jets territory. Shot stopping the puck on Alibaya with the glove save. He's quick. Motion and all, they gotta get this thing done. Tobias playing the puck to Perfetti. Her money shot! Stopped by Flurry! 
and Dumbo will try to recover the puck. Dior with it now. Swinging back and forth. Recovered it up. Back over to Connor. Connor's going back over by Tobias. Tobias over to Morrissey. Back to Pimelo. Stick lifted. Gary to play out of here as right now the Jets need to regain the group to go on the offense. Now with new changes, leaving the puck in behind. Now he's into the side of the net. Passing the mid period. Tobias again. Going for it, Wheeler decided to go back and do it again. Well, he's resetting it because the other man was on him. He, he can't do that because that was a very uh, tough of a play inbound. May not be enough to go with that one. Wheeler has the puck here back in the offense zone. Wheeler on the fast break. Gives it to Smith. Shot. Stopped by Flurry. Sember. Puck almost went out of play. And now the offside's whistled. Now the three left to go in the third. With the tough calls, we have Meepone standing by. Connor Halabayuk has gotten an X-ray vision to give that one a good look of a run. He keeps it safe. He keeps it on wild ones to try to give it all he has. Kupertov has made his own fast wheels to pick up his motion. And a delightful way, they have it all down to keep them right on the position. Right at this moment, I'll keep an eye on the two players right around the board. That's you guys. Carlson Coleman is in the penalty box. We'll now get ready for the Wilds to go a power play and get up on the board. Seriously now, that, that really has to say, stop the player with the motion out there. It looks like he was making a dive and trying to slip trip on someone. That could be a tripping call and it may happen. Offside is whistled. Teams are ready to take the face off in a neutral zone. 8.34 to go in the third period. They have to get it back. Now another win comes in. Covers off. Trying to roll around into Boldy. With the shot to Aaron Sinet. And the bike save. Over to Sandberg. Trying to clear the puck out. Erickson Eck. Right on out, looking in the middle. Shot to wide of Zuccarello. Baron. Addison. Trying to go back over again. And Lowry has it back. 109 remaining in the third period. And bad pass. And Zuccarello going for the goal. Oh, Elmouk. It stopped out of here. Oh jeez, it looks like that Zuccarello's just a tiny bit short. Oh man, that was really that tough. Real tough one going in. Alibayek is like a master of it. Because he was able to make it stone, he was always like pushing him out of here. Like a, like he was always on quick, like a bull. Man, that was tough. Alibayek save. Erzak back over to Kapasov. And scores! Deflected into the net. They are on the board. There's a goal. We've got a Gudera in the house. No shot on Kevin to addict him here in game two. As for Gudera for this goal, he is really keeping his eye on momentum. Give it up on a good run out there. I'll be giving an eyes out here for number one for Kapazov to give up every good look. Back to you guys. Wheeler on the move. Goes back over to DeMello. Battling with a loose puck. In the corner of the wall, trying to face up. DeMello with the puck. Regain the group. Get back to Morrissey. And tie to tip it back. DeMello back over to Morrissey. Morrissey right into the op offensive corner of the wall. Oh, there he goes. They're not really happy enough because the DeMello was able to try to recover it. I mean, that's what's like they all they could have just played. The moment is not really going to help. You're going to need to get that one a defender to let him work try. Shot stopped again by Mark andre Fleury. With Perak Perfetti. Chepo right back over again to Fogno. Boldy right back to the offense there to pick up another steam. Poked away. 
and a penalty. There's going to be another call on a holding. That will be Boldy. Oh, that's not really good out there. They seemingly like they're not going to be enough to get this thing a good run. That's a little frustrating out there. They could extend it. When the big Jets are on to the power play, as the power play goal for the Wilds, now it's their turn to give it a go. Right now the wind comes in, Flurry will hold the puck, and we'll have to wait from here. Now with the win, here's Smith. Shot, deflected. Scafelli. Puck, 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 passed out. And now back over to again to Smith. To Duros. To Boyos, stopping the play and run. Connor trying to sneak him up with the run. Which side fell? Trying to hold the run. Into Boyos. Shot, stopped up by Flory. Over to Smith, back to Connor. Connor making a move out there. To Smith, with the shot, almost went in, but hit the goal post. It may be tough because that was a close eye on contact. Not really sure what he was going to do, but it was going to keep him out of sight. Offside called here on Winnipeg, and we got a free one more go to go in the third period and just 40 seconds of the power play for the Jets. Now with the win, here's Middleton. Clean the puck, Pion has it recovered out. Wheeler will have to do it instead. Lowry going back over again to Profetti. The Jets are in fast break position. With the move around, and stopped by Dumba. With a, out of there, a pad save by Flurry. He's ready to go out there. Power play is over for the Winnipeg Jets. Back to even strength. Here's Perfetti back the other way. Trying to stop the run. Pass broken up. Yeah, really having a hard time to try to pass that one. Very understandable. The misunderstanding and understanding with the plays can be very not tricky. But they're not really important. Give that one a good look into an open feeder. If you're going to get up, get up the man, don't lose him. Foligno right in the middle. Shot stop here by Holloway. We're down to the last period in the third to give us a crime run as Coleman and her team are going to the third game. Right now, the extension is coming up to a great win for the Wet Jets. With the shot stopped again by Mark Andre Fleury. DeMello the payoff. Yeah, we almost went off balance. And here's Karbisov, he's going to go in there. That's will be stopped again. Extra skater on. Here's Karbisov. Oh, and to Cuello. Shot to wide. And try to give it over to Pionk. Right over to Coleman. To fuck it in. That went out wide. I see whistled on Kin uh, Winnipeg. 18.7 seconds in the third. Here's Perrin. One more time for the Wilds. Trying to bring it out with a stop, and they will get the win. And that ends the game in the second game of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Wheelers and his team are moving on to game three. An excellent performance out there. Can't forget about Hella Bayuk. He was already a legendary to give his uh, credit run. He's on us, roll. Well, folks, that's the end of the third game. We've got the final game ready for you. We've got the Oilers and the Kings at Crypto.com Arena, where Jay Sapolsky and Greg Ferraro stand by. This is OJ, along with Life Brain and Me Phone, thanking you for joining us here on another Stanley Cup playoff on tonight's game. We'll see you next time, everybody. Get home safe. All right, OJ, thanks so much.
and welcome back to those of you guys who, to our tuning in to support. We got three star players of the game. Let's start off with the third star. We got is Madeline with two assists and one hit. Or we turn out just like what the play goes in. The second star, on the other hand, that will goes out to Connor Hellebayuk. 28 saves. He's like on X-ray vision, keeping his own momentum. And the first star is Marc Andre Fleury with 57 saves. Only one player for the Wilds and two players in the star of the game for the Jets. Well, that should do here for the game. And if you're all tuning in for the last one for the end of the game two, we've got another game coming up as we got the Kings and Oilers making their way to Crypto.com Arena later on in after the after we set everything up and ready to go. So, if you're tuning in with us with the NBA playoffs, we're almost ready to have you us with you. And we are getting things right on the board with game one and two. After the play-in tournaments, then we are about to step in to the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. So join with us here if you are if you make the time advancement, or you might be heading in for the next game and keep your eyes on that pride. So, there may be a lot of players that can definitely go with the number of bucket, bucket scores. Better than hockey, of course, if you're in the basketball mood. After uh, putting up a, uh, a win over the, the good game for the UConn, well, they've done the best job. They are definitely a champions that can give up their run. <laughs> I know, they're a very good team. Just saying. If you're in Tri-State area, in UConn, then you should deserve yourself a lucky credit. Anyway, thank you all for watching for this next part of the game. I will see you all for the last part of the game in Game 2. We'll have a little off break before their teams move into the another uh, location on a different opponent range here for Game 3 and 4. I'll keep an eye on here for another NBA Playoffs to keep in bound. Thanks for watching and peace out everyone for a while as the NHL of the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports style. This is me, Phone, and thank you for watching with us. See you next time. Kings and Oilers are coming up after this message. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.